Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Grand Theft Auto 4. If you enjoy this video, please become a senator and make not being subscribed to me a hate crime, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. GTA 4 on so many levels was and still is an amazing game. The satirical New York City, the charming driving mechanics, the physics as you mow down pedestrians trying to commute to work. The iconic protagonist Nico Bellic and his cousin Roman whose voice I can still hear inviting me to go bowling while I lie awake at night. It's way overdue that I make a video on this game and so I take you down to the docks where Nico is arriving from one of the most horrible, evil, torturous places in the world, Eastern Europe. My alcoholic cousin Roman picks me up and I'm excited to be here as he's told me all about his luxurious life of hot women and money. He takes me to his apartment which is decrepit, filthy and tiny or about the same quality of living as the Yugoslavian royal family's residence. I proceed to knock all the crockery off the kitchen table to assert dominance as the alpha roommate. It's important in share houses to set the bar really low so that you can easily improve. Apparently Roman is running a taxi company and he wants me to go and check it out. First I head down to my local diner which might not be the classiest establishment but the waitress is kind of cute. I guess I just have a thing for low pixelated blondes but that doesn't excuse not having a sneeze guard over the pastries. I was trying to get some wholesome footage of me eating breakfast and I somehow ended up knocking this guy unconscious and delivering several blows to his stomach. Who wears blacked out sunglasses inside? I guess blind people. I may have just accidentally beaten up a blind person. Anyway, I grab myself a car and head around the corner to the taxi business. The cool thing about Roman's cabs is that you can't even tell they're cabs, they're just black sedans so no one actually knows you're a cab driver. Genius marketing. He introduces me to his girlfriend Mallory and then asks me to drop him at a poker game. You see, my cousin has got himself into significant debt and some Albanian loan sharks are hunting him down. He figures if he can win this poker game, he'll be able to service his debt. A quite frankly bulletproof plan. I wait outside keeping watch to ensure no dodgy Albanian malakas roll up and sure enough they do. They t-bone a blue convertible on their way in and look I know they're tough cookies but how hard is it to exchange insurance details? After they've finished pulling people's fingernails off for the day, they should really read the book Pay It Forward by Katherine Hyde for a fresh dose of perspective. I give Roman a call and he sneaks out the back. We escape and I suppose we'll chalk that up as a problem for future Bellix to solve. On the positive side, I have a job now driving cabs and my next clients are two young lasses. I go and pick them up from downtown and one of them starts aggressively hitting on little Nico. There's only one thing women love more than honest kind men and that's vehicular manslaughter. It seems to work as Michelle asks if I'd like to go on a date with her later. I drive on over to everyone's favourite Russian apparel wholesaler and buy myself some new drip. Despite my best efforts, I come out looking even more slav than I did before. I may only have $52 left in my bank account, but we are peaking right here lads and lasses. I decide to spice things up a bit for Michelle and steal a police car so I can impress her. Obviously a pretty huge risk, but the GTA 4 cops are borderline brain dead so we're fine. I arrive at her place and I kid you not, she insists we take her car. I just risked jail time so that we could ride in style, but no let's take your shitty sedan Michelle, great idea. She then goes on to insult my driving and says she likes my old clothes better. Obviously offended, I'm in no mood for a romantic sunset pier walk, so I just full on track and field my way to the bowling alley. I'm not whimsically holding hands with someone who doesn't appreciate a maroon spied track jacket. I go on to absolutely smash her in bowling as it turns out she's dog water at knocking pins. In my excited state, I jab her in the nose. Not the best date I've ever been on, but not the worst either. I get back to my apartment ready to listen to hard style bass and pour vodka on my feet while I rub one out or whatever Eastern Europeans do for fun, but then Roman calls. Surprisingly not to go bowling, but the Albanian loan sharks have got him and he needs my help. I call 911 and say there's been a fire and I can honestly say I'm impressed with the response time. It's great to know that should a fire ever happen at my apartment, they'll be here in a jiffy to put it right out. I steal the truck and head down to the projects where Roman said he was hiding. Needless to say, I think I picked the right vehicle for the job as there's absolutely no problem a little high pressure water can't solve. For example, it'd be much harder for your girlfriend to insult your driving or your culturally sacred tracksuit with a 55,000 psi industrial water cannon spraying them down. One of the Albanians tries to flee, but eventually I catch him, take his knife and stab him several times, which is truly quite aggressive. Nico is such a Sagittarius. Just another day in the office and I'm sure killing members of the Albanian mob won't have any overarching consequences. It's important to get 8 hours, so I hit the fold out couch bed like a king. 
New day, new me, and I can't keep driving around in my cousin's taxis, so I steal myself a Sabre. This has to be one of my favorite cars in GTA. It's been around since Vice City. Also, if you're liking this GTA 4 content, hit like and I'll make more. Hopefully this ride will impress Michelle enough and I can get lucky. I pick her up for date number two and I swear this woman doesn't even compliment my new wheels. I feel like I'm pouring my heart and soul into this virtual relationship and getting absolutely nothing in return. At what point is it easier to just turn the game off and go and get laid in real life? I've absolutely had enough and so I steal a fresh ride, pick up Michelle in the new car and then drive her off the pier in a brave attempt to drown the big girl. It's funny, I'm still learning more about this girl every day. Like for example, she has impeccable freestyle form and escaped the sinking car quickly so she's great under pressure. I installed some graphics mod and I guess it turned the ocean into the stuff of nightmares. I take Miss Drippy home and while small talking in the car, I get the option to try my luck and get invited upstairs. She says no and brutally rejects my advances. I honestly don't know what else I can do to connect with this woman. At least I've got my taxi job, but this guy Vlad keeps hanging around because Roman owes him money as well. It sounds like Roman is the problem here, but I can't let that stop me from dropping the good people of Liberty City to their destinations. It proceeds to immediately stop me as Roman asks me to meet Vlad. He calls me, but I find it hard to listen as this gardener seems to have a watering can that doesn't run out of water. I stab him to death out of honestly just pure jealousy. Great cardio though. So this Vlad guy wants me to run a few errands for him to repay Roman's debt. I hit him with a yeah nah yeah nah yeah nah yeah nah yeah nah nah yeah nah yeah alright mate. The first thing he wants me to do is scare some of the local businesses that haven't been paying protection money. All I wanted to do was drive cabs around and earn an honest living but now I'm out here extorting minorities. Though I guess I'm also a minority so it's kosher. I decide to take my car out for a rare spin. I'm honestly scared to drive it because I'm worried it'll just disappear. I spent my entire childhood having GTA car spots and garages filled with nice cars that I never drove because I was scared they'd disappear. If only I'd monitored my dad that closely. The requests from Vlad keep rolling in and it starts to get a bit out of hand. He has me ramming trucks off the road to encourage debts to be paid, it's a lot. He's also big into repossession of vehicles and asks me to head out to the projects and repossess a car. I decide to take the train for cinematic purposes and I proceed to stand in front of the dotted yellow safety line. In hindsight, this is careless and dangerous, Nico needs to look in the mirror. I take the subway and if you could please leave a comment about how nice this shot is of the train, that would be appreciated. That way if people look at the comments early, all they'll see is people complimenting the train cinematography. I reach the apartment building and you know someone's about to get stabbed here, probably by me. I spot the Malacca who owes Vlad money cleaning his car and I go and confront him. As you can imagine, he's not that excited about handing over the keys and so I stab him and his friend. It honestly gets a little dark as they try to hobble away, but I show no mercy. Vlad even makes me wash the car before returning it, which I frankly respect as that's just smart business. The errands get progressively more violent as I find myself chasing Vlad's enemies across rooftops. The game even tries to give me the choice of whether I should let this guy Ivan live or die. I decide to test his strength and make him hang for five minutes straight and he passes, so I help him up. It can't kill a man who knows the importance of a good core workout. Between running errands, I find time to drive cabs. The clientele usually have something interesting going on, like little Jacob who enjoys getting high and hotboxing the car. Weed is no joke though. I had a marijuana plant once and late one night it snuck into my room and touched my private parts without consent. The big man hands me a gun and asks me to cover him while he organizes a deal. I'm pretty sure I'm not getting paid enough to cap gangsters and predictably it goes bad and I end up killing several people. The taxi game is no joke. I end up basically becoming Jacob's personal driver and it becomes immediately apparent that he is not a good judge of character. Literally every single one of his deals goes south and we end up killing everyone. On the positive side, I get myself a shotgun, which I'm pleased about. Hey, watch it, idiot. Don't annoy me. I thought Jacob was bad at reading people, but as a rule of thumb, I wouldn't call someone who is jogging down the street holding a shotgun an idiot. I take another great nap. I swear this man sleeps better than I do in real life, despite all the daily murders. In the morning, Roman tells me that Vlad has been sleeping with his girlfriend, Mallory. She's trying to clear the debt with some TLC, and it's at this moment we realize that Nico is truly a psychopath. 
Quite the character arc as he insists that Vlad must die for this. Eastern Europeans will kill people over relationship problems confirmed. Roman and I drive down to Vlad's bar to confront the big girl and he flees immediately. I thoroughly respect his boys for trying to fight me, but they too seem to heavily underestimate how powerful a shotgun is at point blank range. A few days ago, I was driving taxis and going out on passionate dates. Now I'm chasing down a Russian mobster with a shotgun. This is actually exactly how I imagine a normal week would look for the average American. We chase the home wrecker down and eventually he pulls over. He attempts to threaten me by saying he knows people and all that, but I proceed to perform a truly over the top violent finishing move. And just like that, we've eliminated our first antagonist. Nice. Just so you know, I'll be uploading all GTA roleplay and lifestyle content to my other channel, Papa Pelly. There's already heaps of new RP videos there. This channel, Modest Pelican, will have the classic Pelly style content like this video. I've also started a clips channel. It has nothing to do with the success of my friend Dark Viper AU's clips channel. It was definitely an original idea. All these channels are linked in the description and the top comment. This game is so good. Hit like if you want to see more of it. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay classy.